Hey, what's up, everybody? We are on the United States Mint 2022 product schedule, and next week, at least from the recording of this video, which is Thursday, October the 20th, but next week, Tuesday, October the 25th, goes on sale the last of the five American Women Quarters, which is Anna May Wong. And the reason why I am making this video today is because I do believe today is the last day that if you want to make any adjustments, if you're in the enrollments for the American Women Quarter Series and you want to make any adjustments to your enrollments, I do believe today is the last day. So if you want to decrease your enrollments or if you want to just cancel or turn off your enrollments altogether, I do believe today is going to be your last opportunity to do that. For me, I'm going to see this series to completion and I'm going to continue with my three PDS row sets. Now, this series started all the way back, I'm sure everybody remembers, on February the 7th with Maya Angelou. And at that time, I don't believe there was any cap as to how many of the PDS sets you were able to get. And I think a lot of people bought 10. I think some people bought more than 10. But after that, starting with the Dr. Sally ride, that's when the United States Mint capped the PDS row sets to five. And I had five. That was until I broke up one of my sets, put one of the S rolls in circulation. And I think most of you are aware of that. And it just so happens that this is the lowest mintage S quarter. And it is the most valuable, I do believe, to this day. In this video, we are going to look at United States Mint sales for the American. American Women Quarters PDS row sets. Also, the recently sold eBay listings, and I do believe that Dr. Sally Ride S quarters, the individual quarters, also the PDS sets are still very, very strong on the aftermarket, and also the Maya Angelou, but these are the two strongest sellers on eBay, Maya Angelou and Dr. Sally Ride, and then it kind of goes down from there. And after Sally Ride, which had a cap of the PDS row sets at five, then we got down to the Wilma Mankiller, and that's when the United States Mint started capping the PDS rolls at three, and then that's where we stand today. Then we had the Nina Ontario Warren capped at three PDS roll sets, and now we are at the fifth and final release of the American Women Quarter Series, and that is Anna May Wong, which once again goes on sale if there's any to be had, I have no idea, but the PDS roll sets, and to be honest, this is the only thing that I'm really concerned about. I'm not going to be buying any of the 100 coin bags or the P&D rolls. Those can be purchased at the bank if your bank has any. Will the United States Mint have any of these on drop day? I have no idea. It's going to be very interesting to see. I'm not really interested in purchasing any more of these, but I will be on here at noon Eastern Standard Time just to see if these are going to be the same result as all the other ones and they're gone in like a split second. I don't know. But October the 25th, 2022 at noon Eastern Standard Time. And it says the same verbiage as all the other releases pretty much said, and that is because of overwhelming demand, much of the production of the 100 coin bags, two and three coin roll sets are accounted for through enrollments. Should any inventory become available, those products will be made available via the Remind Me feature, which sometimes works and sometimes does not work. If you have been in the American Women Quarter enrollment, are you still in the enrollment? Have you reduced your enrollments? Have you turned off your enrollments? Let me know that in the comments section down below. And please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on the video. But let's go take a look and see what is the current sales of the American Women Quarters PDS row sets. Here are the sales for the American Women Quarter three row PDS sets. And the results really hasn't changed much, and that is the Dr. Sally ride is the lowest amount of sales, which means that the S quarter, this S quarter, is the lowest mintage S quarter out of all of them. Now, in my opinion, all of these have a low mintage, very low mintage, but the Dr. Sally ride is the lowest at 302,240 and then from there the Maya Angelou is a little bit higher and then the Nina Ontario Warren and then the Wilma Mankiller. As far as aftermarket sales, I do believe that Dr. Sally Ride is the strongest. I think Dr. Sally Ride and Maya Angelou are kind of neck and neck as far as which one is going for the most on the secondary market. I haven't sold any of them. The only quarters that I bought that I no longer have is the one Dr. Sally Ride S roll that I put into circulation. Other than that, I'm still sitting on all of my quarters. 
but we're going to go take a look at the most recent sales on eBay and let's go see. I believe Dr. Sally Ride is the strongest, but Maya Angelou is pretty close behind Dr. Sally Ride in terms of sales. And then there's a pretty steep drop off when it gets to Nina and Tara Warren and then Wilma Mankiller. But let's go check that out. We are on eBay's most recently sold items. And these are here are just the pre-orders for what's going to be coming up for sale on October the 25th, which is the Anime Wong. And I wouldn't be too concerned, in my opinion, with pre-orders because these are going to probably drop, in my opinion. I don't think they're going to remain 125, 127. I don't think they're going to maintain those values on a secondary market. And then here we have the Nina and Tara Warren. This one sold for $99.99. And of course, you got to pay for shipping and final value fees and all of that. But it looks like these are still kind of profitable, just not as good as the first two in the series. And we're going to get to that. Let's go see and then here's another Nina on Tara Warren PDS set for $69.99 not too great but here we have Dr. Sally Ride still holding very strong at $227.50 and once again this is the one that I cracked open one of these of the five that I had put one of the S rolls into circulation. In fact, I just recently sent out a couple of these quarters of the remaining quarters that I had in the roll that I did not fully put into circulation. I still had about a dollar fifty or two dollars left, and I just sent a couple of those out to somebody, and we may find that out in the next couple of days or so. Here is another pre-sale, pre-sale. Nina and Tara Warren, $89. So as you can see, the values really drop off very big, except for the Dr. Sally ride. And then here's a Maya Angelou for $244.90. Cents. So Dr. Sally Ride and Maya Angelou are definitely pretty strong. And then the other ones drop off. And I'm assuming the same thing is probably going to happen. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm assuming the same thing is going to probably happen with the Anna Mae Wong. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I appreciate everybody for watching. Are you still in the enrollments? Are you going to continue with your enrollments? Did you cancel your enrollments? Are you going to reduce your enrollments? Let me know all of that in the comment section below. I appreciate everybody for watching. Smash that thumbs up button, like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.